Yes, Mr. Montpelier. I trust you will not be disappointed with its prosaic design. On the contrary, it seems to me a thing of beauty. If not a joy forever. Allow me, Oliver. Mm -hmm. It looks good. It feels good. It is good. And there's only one other like it. <laughs> Issued in connection with a foreign loan. Yes, we read about it. That's what gave us the idea. The idea? <laughs> I suppose it does seem... Step inside a moment, please. Who, me, sir? Yes, you. Through the front door on your left. Thanks. Good morning, sir. Will you please come in? set up our consulate entirely for the assistance of our people. And you don't give us the opportunity of rendering service. But for these newspapers, I wouldn't have known of your arrival. How long are you staying? Well, that all depends. Uh, uh, indefinitely. Oh, good. You're in time for the season. Who do you know, Mr. Adam? <laughs> I don't know anyone. Except uh, two brothers in Belgrave Square, Oliver and Roderick, something. Really. Oh, the Montpelier's most worthy gentlemen. Uh, no thanks. Oh, I insist. It's one of my personal Havana selections. Oh. Now that you're here, we must see what we can do for you. Though, as Ambassador, I think I should admonish you for not coming before. Uh, well, uh, that isn't strictly true, Your Excellency. I, I was here once before. Then why wasn't I told? Well, it was... Uh, well, I, I was in uh, difficulties over currency. As a matter of fact, I still am. You see... This note of mine. Say no more, Mr. Adams. What a hundred pounds tied you over. Oh, well, that's awfully good of you, but I... I, I... Nonsense. Bring in a hundred pounds immediately for Mr. Henry Adams. In five pound notes. Oh, thanks very much. I, I told I... you before, we're here to help our nationals. Now to get down to more serious matters. I must open a few doors for you. <laughs> 